hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video today i'll be talking about c-section recovery tips in one of my previous videos i talked about c-section recovery must have so if you haven't seen that video please check it out i'll put the link in the description box and i'll also have the link pinned in the comment section okay c-section is a major abdominal surgery and after your c-section there are some tips or instructions that you need to follow in order to make your recovery process a lot quicker okay take it from someone that has had two c-sections so tip number one getting up to work you need to get up and start working as soon as you can and as soon as it is safe for you to do so okay after your c-section you may not be able to start working around immediately okay because you cannot feel your legs you can't feel the sensation in your legs just yet okay so for that reason you might be asked to stay in bed or just lay in bed until you are able to start working okay as soon as you can walk as soon as you start feeling the sensation back in your leg you need to get up and start walking okay even if it's just a few steps to the bathroom or just standing up to walk around the room it will really help okay because the longer you lay in bed the longer your recovery process will take okay but the sooner you get up and walk the quicker your recovery process will be walking around can help with your bowel movement it can also help with passing of gas okay it just helps with your overall recovery process okay so getting up to walk around is the number one thing that you can do to help you recover faster from your c-section tip number two getting up slowly so one thing you need to realize is that after your c-section you cannot just stand up anyhow pick up your body and start walking nope it doesn't work that way especially those first few days or maybe even weeks after the c-section when everything is still painful everywhere is so sore you find out that uh, standing up to work is kind of difficult so what you can do is uh, if you are standing up from a sitting position you can just shuffle yourself forward use your two hands to push on the chair and you can stand up slowly okay but if you're standing up from a lying position say you're lying on the bed what you can do is to swing your legs out put your legs on the floor and then you can push yourself up from the bed with your two hands okay just know that you will not be able to just stand up anyhow and start walking after your c-section tip number three which is a very important one and that is avoid heavy lifting as much as you can please try and avoid heavy lifting especially the first few days after your c-section when i was discharged i was told not to lift anything heavier than my baby okay so that's to tell you how very important it is they also said something like to avoid lifting anything heavier than a gallon of milk and that's because lifting anything heavy within those first few days post c-section can put a lot of pressure on your incision site and that can rip it open that can compromise the healing process of the wound and you don't want that to happen so tip number four is taking care of your wound site that's your incision site um for this i'll just say follow your doctor's instruction if they said keep it clean and dry please by all means keep it clean and dry okay you can just pat it dry with uh, a clean towel after shower because after shower that area will definitely be wet Please don't apply any creams or lotions or ointments if your doctor has not recommended any of that because again you don't want to infect the wound you don't want to do anything that would compromise the healing process of the wound and most importantly you don't want to rip the wound open basically you don't want to do anything that will send you back to the hospital because of the wound so it's very important that you take care of your wound and keep it as dry as possible okay tip number number five right <laughs> so tip number five is keeping up with your medications as someone that has had two c-sections i don't think you can possibly go through the postpartum process that's the post c-section period without having to take one or two pain medications okay except if you are margaret thatcher <laughs> and this is what i used to do okay so because i hated taking those stronger pain medications like oxycodone tramadol and the rest okay i hated the side effects of feeling drowsy feeling tired and 
having this nauseous feeling basically it used to make me feel sick okay i hated those medications with my life so what i used to do i would keep up with my regular panadol or regular paracetamol in order to manage my pain because i don't want the pain to become unbearable that i will now have to take those stronger pain medications okay so that's something that you can do if you're like me that you can't tolerate those stronger pain medications okay just know that keeping up with your medications will really help to manage your pain and it will help with your overall recovery process tip number six is holding your incision or your wound site especially when you cough when you sneeze or when you laugh okay because after your c-section or any major abdominal surgery at all you find out that it's very uncomfortable and painful when you cough laugh or sneeze but holding your incision sites with a pillow or even your hands can make it less painful okay number seven is using an abdominal binder okay and when i say abdominal binder i don't mean a corset okay wearing an abdominal binder or any compression garment at all just helps to keep things in place so that when you're moving around your tummy is not jiggling all over the place okay at my last c-section i was given an abdominal binder in the hospital so please check with your hospital if they provide one or you can just buy one from amazon and that brings me to tip number eight which is the last tip and that is asking for help okay the first few days after your c-section is not really the time to show that you are a superwoman okay it's not the time to show that you you got this okay you ain't got nothing <laughs> i mean you've already proven that you're a superwoman by carrying that pregnancy for nine months and going through that whole c-section uh surgery so this time you really need to ask for help you need to utilize the help of people around you if it's your spouse if it's uh, your nanny your domestic staff whoever that you have around you please assign tax to them so don't forget you are also having to look after your newborn especially if you are going to be breastfeeding your newborn or let's say you have older kids please by all means get the help of people around to help with things around the house or looking after your older kid i'm not saying you should just sit down and be ordering people around okay because remember i said you still need to get up and be walking around okay but just make sure you're not doing too much or things like heavy lifting okay and yeah guys that's it for today's video those are my tips for feeling better soon after your c-section those are some of the things that i did that really helped with my recovery process okay if you're a mom watching this video or if you've had c-section please drop in the comment section is there anything that you did differently is there any specific thing that you did to help with your c-section recovery process thank you guys for watching today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys bye.